Starting with example one, you decide to begin a savings plan. Starting in one year, you will deposit $100 each year into an account that pays J1 equals 12% interest. How much will you have in three years? How much of that is interest? Let's start by drawing a timeline. When you're first beginning, it's really useful to draw in these timelines. Once you've done it for a while, these basic annuities don't need them anymore, but we will talk about more advanced ones. So let's say that we start with no money. Then we're going to deposit $100. I'm putting the arrow down to show that that money is going into my account. What we're doing is evaluating this at the last minute, at time three. Algebraically, using the compound interest formula, that's the same as saying, I've got $100 that I invest for, looks like two years. I've got $100 that I invest for one year, and then I've got an extra $100. So when we put those together, I can evaluate how many of how much money I have at the end of the time. That is $337.44. Please try this in your calculator if you would like. Three payments, I can do that. But let's say I had 100 payments. I'm not going to calculate 100 different things. That's why I'm going to use the payment button for annuities. So let's look at our types of annuities. So the first thing I want to look at is, are we accumulating or are we amortizing? So here, every month, every year, I have a little bit more money. So I'm accumulating. And that's because the balance is growing. Next, I always want to look at, well, is it ordinary or due? And those are funny words. So ordinary is at the end of the year and due is at the beginning of the year. Here, you can see I'm getting my first payment at the end of the first year, at one, not at zero. So this is ordinary. And finally, I've got simple versus general. And I'm gonna actually just write that, that is at the beginning, end of the first year. Simple and general, well, my payments, I put in a payment every year, and my compounding period, it compounds annually. J1 equals 12%. So those things are the same. That makes this a simple ordinary annuity. And now I'm gonna put this in the calculator. So let's start at the beginning. I said that the payments were once a year and it was compounding once a year. Those are both one. N, well N here is three years because there are three payments. The interest rate is 12. I start with no money. This is very common in a savings. And I'm going to put in $100 every year. I'm putting a plus sign because my balance is growing. This is an accumulation. My future value, I'm going to compute that, but I'm going to hope that it's negative at the end. Begin is going to be off, and we'll worry about how to use that on the calculator in the next lesson. So let's calculate this. I'm going to put everything in. Starting with PYCY, I make sure that that is 1. It is. N is 3. RIY, again, was 12. Present value, I put in 0. Now I'm going to actually put in that payment of 100, and I'm left with computing the future value. And I get negative 337.44, which is exactly the same that we got by algebra. Often in an accumulation, the present value is going to be zero because we assume that we start with no money. If we had money in our account, we'll deal with that next lesson. It's just a matter of putting a number into PV. Let's calculate the interest. Interest is money out minus money in, in a savings situation. How much money did I have at the end? Well, that was $337.44. Money in, that was three payments of $100. When I run that through a calculator or do it in my head, I get $37.44. 
That's how much interest I earned over the three years, $37.44.